When making an offer on a home, should your mortgage pre-approval letter be for the amount of your offer or for the list price of the home? I'm Eve Metlis with Watson Realty with your Tuesday tip. And this may be an unpopular opinion, but I believe your pre-approval letter needs to show that you're approved for a mortgage for at least the list price of the home. Reason being is this. When you make an offer of $400,000 on a home that's priced at $425,000 and your pre-approval letter states you're approved for a purchase price of up to $400,000, this turns a lot of sellers off from countering your offer. In a seller's eyes, you're only approved up to $400,000, which is less than the asking price, so it looks to them as if you're looking at homes outside of your budget, which could upset them and make them question why you were looking at their house in the first place. It also makes them hesitate to even make a counteroffer because they think you can't afford it. You may very well be pre-approved to purchase a higher priced home, but the only proof they have in writing is the pre-approval letter that was sent over with the offer you made. I understand that a lot of agents don't want to show all of their buyers cards when making an offer, but when the seller does not counter your buyer's offer because in their eyes they can't afford it, your strategy just failed your buyer and now you're right back to where you started. I've personally spent a lot of time trying to convince sellers to counter offers where the buyers had pre-approval letters lower than the list price on the home they made an offer on. It can definitely start the negotiation process off on a sour note. This can all be avoided by showing the sellers that your buyers are pre-approved for at least the list price of the home they're making an offer on to begin with. That's today's Tuesday tip.